Here's a quick comparison between Dawn Redwood, Metasequoia glyptostravoides, and Bald Cypress. So both the Dawn Redwood and the Bald Cypress are trees that can survive in very wet environments with waterlogged soil. <clears throat> and they both grow well in Tennessee. They're both deciduous conifers meaning they lose their needles in the winter time and sprout new ones each year and they both turn kind of a rust orange red in the fall when they're losing those needles so they look about the same this is the dawn redwood right here and i've found that it grows faster than bald cypress right next to the bald cypress is the Dawn Redwood in the background. Here's the Bald Cypress in the foreground now. And superficially, they look pretty similar. Let's take a look at the foliage here. So they have these um, kind of clusters of needles or small branches with needles that sprout off of the main branches. This is the piece that falls off in the winter time. And you can see the trunk is pretty stable pretty secure. I've got this one tied up a little bit because it was leaning somewhat, but um, the branching structure is usually pretty regular. This one's also slightly unusual at the top because it started to branch sideways, but it's recovered and now it's got one main leader in the center, which looks to be growing pretty well. The Dawn Redwood generally does a good job of having one main leader as well, Although this one currently has a split leader at the top. You may be able to see that right here. I'm going to have to get a ladder and get up there and cut away one of those leaders because as with all of my trees, I want to maintain a single leader with my Dawn Redwoods. And this is the regular Dawn Redwood straight species here. I have another Dawn Redwood that is the Amber Glow cultivar and that's the kind you can find at um, Home Depot. This one, the regular one, I ordered from, I think it was fastgrowingtrees.com, but a lot of places have them. And I think I may have gotten the bald cypress from Nature Hills. But once again, a lot of places sell those as well. So these are both pretty easy trees to find. So one more look at the regular Dawn Redwood, take a look at its green color, and now let's go look at the Amber Glow. Okay, here's the Amber Glow Dawn Redwood. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's got a more yellowish golden cast to the foliage, especially the parts that are exposed to sun. Now the undersides are generally pretty green, but you can see the top is more yellow. So that's the interesting thing about the amber glow is it, although it is pretty green, you can see these shaded areas to get less direct sun are fairly green, just like the straight species. If you look at the surfaces that get sun on them, you can see that yellowing there. And, and this amber glow cultivar seems to be very prevalent in the nursery trade right now, so super easy to find. I saw them at Home Depot the other day. And I highly recommend Don Redwood if you have a place that gets pretty wet. In this particular spot, there was a tulip poplar planted here that died from root rot. So I planted Dawn Redwood because I know it does not succumb to that. It's not susceptible to that. And if you have that same problem, I re recommend it.